Back home again, we'll visit a scene that's so typical of London, the marketplace. And who better to go with us than the champion of the cheap jack of Radio Large Lumps fame, Richard Hassett. Won't you buy my sweet blooming lavender, 16 branches for a penny? Won't you buy... And so they go on, folks, the street cries of old London. They may not be so picturesque these days, but there they all are. Take the man on his fruit stall. He shouts out, thou lovely, and thou fall for three. Ripe banana, thou lovely, nice green apples, fine green pears, gripes, thou lovely. And then go down to Epsom on a derby day. They're all there, London on holiday. You hear such things as, I got a horse, fish and bread a tanner. Here's your lovely jelly deals. When they're up, they're lovely grumbly. When they're cold blimey, you can jump on them. Here's your lovely ices at two. Dar lovely. And then what about the man who used to sell acid tablets outside the theatre queues and used to say, acid tablets, better than all your beer. Acid tablets. Quench your fast. Acid tablets. And there's plenty of room inside. They're lovely. <laughs> and a short time ago, I went to a famous lane not far from Allgate Pump. And there was a man selling curtains there. Well, on the next door to him was a friend of his by the name of George, who was selling cakes and pastry. You see, well, the curtain gentleman, he was going like this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I got a pair of curtains here. Real lace. What will transform your home into a mansion fit for a belted earl to live in. And I know what a belted earl is. It's a nobleman what never wears braces. George, serve that lady with two crusty loaves, will you? Now, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll let you have these Wimbledons and Mertons for the ridiculous price of a dollar. Anybody want them? George, stop picking the currants out of them buns, will you? Now, don't go away, lady. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Last year, I sold a pair of curtains like this to a neighbour of mine, and now she's using them for blackout material. They're short of water in them parts. George, go and wash your hands. People think it's brown bread you're selling. Anybody have these curtains? New lady for a dollar? Thank you very much. And then, of course, there's a man who always sells jewellery in North London. Generally, something like this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I got here a timepiece, a bit of property, jewelled in every hole that I would not be ashamed of selling my own dear mother. And with it goes a solid gold chain and a quaint little charm known as a bleeding heart. Now, never mind a pound, never mind 15 shillings, never mind 10 shillings. I'm asking you five shillings for the three articles. The watch, the chain and the bleeding heart. Will anybody have one? Would you like one, sir? Thank you very much. And you, lady, thank you. And one over there, thank you. I tell you, we're giving these things away. Giving everything away. Alf, where'd you put them diamonds? Oh, lovely. And, of course, we mustn't forget the man who sells his ice cream in large lumps. And on any summer's morning in a quiet London square, you can still hear a voice singing, Won't you buy my sweet blooming lavender? Sixteen branches for a penny. They're lovely. They're lovely.